G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here in Photoshop Elements 13 with a new feature. You may have heard of Content Aware Fill. It was released in Photoshop several years ago and is a really handy way of getting rid of objects in your photographs. Here I am in Photoshop Elements and I'm going to show you how you can use Content Aware Fill in Photoshop Elements today. Here we have a photo and it's of a Lego Duplo creation my daughter did but there's a couple of distracting elements in the background. The first one is that red hat on top of the cupboard. Let's just select it using the quick selection tool and let's go to edit fill selection, choose content aware and click OK. Ooh, look at that. The hat is gone. Now it doesn't look perfect and that's because what we really need to do is when we select our object we want to remove we need to make sure we select a little bit around the outside. I do that by going to the select menu, modify expand and expand the selection by 10 pixels. Now let's try that again. Edit, fill selection, content aware and this time we press Control D or Command D to deselect and voila much better. We might want to clean that up using we may want to clean that up a bit using the content aware spot healing brush that has been available for a couple more versions. Okay, what else in this photo do we want to remove? How about the green ball here? Again, I'll just do a quick select. And I'm going to expand the selection. Of course, another way you could do it is just use the lasso tool and select it like this. And we go to Edit, Fill Selection, Content Aware Fill. Ah, oh, voila, no green ball. Now how about this rocking horse? I'm going to use the lasso tool to draw vaguely around the outside of the rocking horse. And we'll try it again. Edit, Fill Selection, Content Aware. And there we have it, our rocking horse has vanished. And then you can probably go across using your clone stamp tool, alt click and then paint, alt click and paint to repair some of the background there. For about one or two minutes work, that's a pretty good result. Let's remind us of what the original image looked like and undo revert. Pretty good for a couple of minutes work. So if you're a digital scrapbooker, how could you use the content aware fill with your digital supplies? Well, here we have a card, a journal card from Jen Barrett's Perfect Fit Kit. And I'm just going to open up the card. I'm going to select the word art here. And I want to remove it. So I'll go to Edit, Fill Selection, Content Aware Fill. And there you go. That was pretty easy and I can't easily spot where the words were. So let's look at that again. Here we've got our original card and our lettering has vanished. This could be handy if you're just wanting to change a little bit of the, the word art or perhaps delete a certain section of pattern from a piece of paper. Have fun playing with the new Content Aware Fill in Photoshop Elements 13.